Pre-workouts, fitness scam or fitness game changer? I'll explain. For decades, pre-workout manufacturers have been claiming that if you want to improve athletic performance in the gym and get a boost of energy to power through your most challenging workouts, you should be taking their supplements. But given the amount of buzz surrounding such products, often the true facts about supplements can be overshadowed by heavy marketing gimmicks. And you do not want to be that sucker who just buys something because you saw it on an Instagram ad. Also, many experts say that they're potentially dangerous and totally unnecessary. So who is right? Is a pre-workout bad for you? Do they even work? How much should you be taking? And will it make your skin crawl? Today, we're breaking down everything that you need to know about pre-workout supplements so you can make an informed decision on whether pre-workouts are the right tool to help you achieve your fitness goals or if pre-workouts even work in the first place. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm an emergency room doctor who treats everything from COVID to gunshot wounds, burns, you name it. I've created this video series to help answer some of your medical questions and the questions I get from patients each and every day. If you find this video helpful, please do me a favor and subscribe. What is a pre-workout? Multi-ingredient dietary formulas designed to boost energy and athletic performance. They're typically a powdered substance that you mix in water or drink before exercise. What are the benefits of taking pre-workout? Do pre-workouts even work? A research study published in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease found that caffeine works on people's arousal, mood, and concentration. So if you wanna be focused or concentrate more throughout your workout, pre-workout is probably a good enhancing supplement for you. What are the cons of pre-workout supplements and are they safe? Although pre-workout supplements are generally safe, they aren't completely risk-free. I mean, for starters, the artificial sweeteners and sugar alcohols they contain aren't really that good for you. Pre-workout supplements frequently contain these artificial sweeteners or sugar alcohols, while they enhance the flavor without adding calories, some sweeteners may cause intestinal distress and discomfort in some individuals. And in particular, a high intake of sugar alcohols may trigger uncomfortable symptoms such as gas, bloating, and diarrhea, all of which can disrupt your overall goal in the end, working out. You may want to just avoid a pre-workout formula that contains large amounts of these sweeteners. On the other hand, if you're going to continue forth with these type of sweeteners, I'd say try a small amount first to see how your body tolerates it. Number two potential problem of pre-workouts, excess caffeine. Yep, the major energy boost elements of most pre-workout supplements, as I mentioned before, is caffeine. Excess intake of this stimulant can lead to negative side effects, such as increased blood pressure, impaired sleep, and anxiety. But if you're also getting caffeine from other sources throughout the day, it might be easy to accidentally consume way too much. If you're wondering how much caffeine one should be consuming in a day, the average adult should usually be okay with consuming about 400 milligrams of caffeine in a day, which is about the same amount of four cups of brewed coffee or say two energy shot drinks. So if you decide to add on a pre-workout on top of your multiple cups of coffee or energy drinks in a day, you definitely wanna keep this in mind as it may just be too much for your system. All right, the number three potential negative thing about pre-workout, supplement quality and safety. Safety is a huge concern when consuming any supplement on the market. Since pre-workout supplements are not regulated by the US Food and Drug Administration or the FDA, in the same way you would say prescription drugs are, Lack of regulation and lack of knowledge about the ingredients on a supplement label can potentially make a pre-workout product dangerous. To ensure safety, only buy supplements that have been tested by a third party such as the NSF International or USP. What's something else most people don't know about pre-workouts? Well, I'm not sure if it's exactly a bad thing, but they can make your skin tingly. Huh? My skin? What's that supposed to mean, Dr. Wagner? Beta alanine and niacin are two common ingredients in pre workout formulas that may cause tingling, skin itching, and skin flushing. And most people aren't warned about this before they start taking the supplement. You can prevent these side effects by either dividing or reducing your doses or selecting products without these compounds. For most people, the sensation starts to fade within 30 minutes. All right, you've weighed the pros and the cons and are actually thinking about taking a pre-workout. How much should you use and how do you take it? 
Pre-workout supplements usually come in powder form. You can drink it by mixing the powder with water. The ideal time to take your pre-workout is around 30 minutes to an hour before your workout. This should give the supplement enough time to hit your bloodstream and amp you up ahead of your gym stash. The International Society of Sports Nutrition indicates dosing caffeine based on one's body weight with a range for optimal effectiveness being 3 to 4 milligrams per kilogram or 1.3 to 2.7 milligrams per pound of body weight. For instance, a 150 pound person, this would be a range of around 200 to 400 milligrams of caffeine, which is a big range. So keep in mind, it may affect everyone differently. Know your caffeine tolerance before you take it. And if you've only ever taken 100 milligrams of caffeine at a time, perhaps don't jump right to 350 milligrams before an important workout. Which type of pre-workout should you buy? Research on the effectiveness of pre-workout supplements is very limited. Nonetheless, some studies suggest that certain ingredients may benefit athletic performance over others. For instance, one study out of the Journal of International Society of Sports Nutrition found that nitric oxide precursors, caffeine and creatine, should be the key ingredients to be on the hunt for when you're in the market for a pre-workout. Let's go over some of those ingredients right now. What's a nitric oxide precursor? Nitric oxide is a compound your body naturally produces to relax blood vessels and improve blood flow. Some of the common compounds that your body uses to make nitric oxide are included in pre-workout supplements. These include L-arginine, L-sertraline, and sources of dietary nitrates such as beetroot juice. A few small studies suggest that supplementing with these compounds boosts oxygen and nutrient transport to your muscles, potentially enhancing athletic performance. Yet, as most of the available research on nitric oxide focuses on young men, it remains unclear whether these results apply to other groups. More research is needed. Caffeine as an ingredient in your pre-workout. As I mentioned before, this is one of the most popular stimulants found inside of a pre-workout, and caffeine may improve mental alertness, memory, exercise performance, and fat burning. Number three most popular ingredient in pre-workouts, creatine. Creatine is a chemical compound naturally produced in our body. It's primarily stored in skeletal muscle, where it plays an important role in energy production. Research states that supplementing with creatine can increase your body's stored supply of this compound, thus helping improve recovery time, muscle mass, strength, and exercise performance. Creatine is also a great standalone supplement. Check out this video where I did a full length feature on creatine. Also, remember creatine does not need to be taken at a specific time, just needs to be taken daily. So final verdict, to take it or not to take it? Me, personally, my first go-to is a black cup of coffee, but then if I do need a boost, I will definitely do a pre-workout uh, before my workout. So yes, I occasionally use them, but I don't use them every time because I don't want my body to get used to or require a pre-workout to get a workout in. All right, that's been a pre-workout breakdown with me, Dr. Wagner. Do you take any pre-workout supplements? Let me know which ones in the comments. And if you are curious about my pre-workout recs, I'll link to some of my favorites in the description below. Also, please make sure you subscribe and turn your bell notifications on. When you do that and you hit that like button, you let YouTube know that you'd like to see more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.